Hi, my name is Amy Heisey, and today I'm going to be showing you a behind the scenes look of how I created my new drawing of the Holy Family. I used a program called Procreate to create this digital artwork, and I'm going to show you how I went from this to this to this to create this new piece. So the first thing that I do is I essentially play dress up. Here I'm wearing my grandma's kimono. I'm holding an American Girl doll and I just kind of experiment with different poses that I think Mary or Joseph might be doing with baby Jesus. I put my iPhone on a tripod and I press record while in video mode. That way I don't have to worry about finding a perfect shot, I can kind of go back through the video and screenshot my favorites. If I'm Mary, I might wear something like a silk scarf, hold a baby, and try to figure out poses for her that I can use in addition to my Joseph's. The nice thing is once I get all the reference pictures all figured out, I can kind of Photoshop them together to figure out the best composition, um, the best bends of the bodies, folds of the fabric, that kind of thing. And then I can kind of embellish it and make it look more authentic um, when I start to work on my sketch. So then I'll put it onto Photoshop and I might only borrow like bits and pieces. Like I really like the way that my hand looks in this shot. So I might just cut out that one little part of the picture and just use that little detail of the pinky kind of sticking up as part of my illustration. Honestly, I feel like any reference, even if it's just a silly one with a baby doll, is better than nothing. I also like to use websites like unsplash.com for finding additional reference pictures. They have lots of free high resolution pictures that are fair use um, for artists and creatives of all types. Once I get my composition, I use a program called Procreate to digitally draw out my artwork. Procreate is a digital drawing and painting program, so I hand draw everything using an Apple Pencil on my iPad. I sketch out Mary, Jesus, and Joseph, and I like to use the ink bleed brush at 20 to 30 percent opacity. So this is a time lapse of my drawing process, which is condensing an hour, hour and a half of work into about 30 seconds. Once my rough sketch is done, I trace all of my lines and create the final line artwork. I use the studio pen at 100 percent opacity to create a a clipping mask. I make a layer for different parts of the Holy Family like their skin and clothes and fill in the area with a solid color just so I can see it. I add another layer on top and select clipping mask from the extra layer options menu. Clipping masks are nice because whatever I paint on the clipping mask layer will only show where the shape is blocked out on the original layer, kind of as if you were painting within a stencil. Then I fill in those clipping masks with solid white. That way I have a nice white um, surface to draw and paint on top of. For me personally, I always like to start with the skin under layers first. Working on the face helps me feel more confident about the direction the drawing is going, and I do the same layering effect in my traditional watercolor work as well. I like to use green as my first color because it creates a nice base for all skin tones. When you look at the veins under your skin, you can see hints of greens and blues. Our skin is layered, so I like to layer other colors on top of each other to try to mimic that. I love using the ink bleed brush between 15 to 35 percent opacity while working on the skin under layers. I start with green and move on to yellows, burnt sienna, light purple, red, burnt umber, and other colors until I get a nice neutral base. Having a neutral base also helps me start to map out a general idea of where the shadows and highlights on the face are going to go. Once that is mapped out, it makes it a lot easier for me to further develop the skin tones. When the skin under layer is complete, I like to switch to a watercolor brush to start to finesse the skin colors and add texture. I've had painter friends mistake my digital paintings for real traditional watercolor paintings, and I feel like having texture in a digital painting is the key to helping it look more like traditional materials. My favorite set of watercolor Procreate brushes are linked in the description box. They're not sponsored, I just absolutely love them because they have great texture built into the brushes. Painting digitally doesn't necessarily take less time than traditional media, but it's great for portability, you don't have to worry about cleanup, and you have more freedom to make mistakes and easily fix them. 
As I work on the image, I find myself meditating over certain details, like Jesus' little baby feet. When my girls were babies, they had the sweetest, smallest, and softest little feet. When they had to get their newborn blood tests, I can remember crying when their feet got pricked. I can only imagine how hard it must have been for Mary to see her son Jesus get his feet pierced at the crucifixion. Oftentimes, I don't know what colors I want to do for clothing, so I just wing it. I like to start with just burnt umber and get some values down for the clothing. Then I can add another layer on top of the shading layer and select multiply from the layer option so that the values underneath stay consistent with any color that I add on top for the clothing. Lastly, I focus on the lighting and background. This can help set the mood of a piece. I wanted it to be late at night, so I added stars in the sky. I actually added layers of purple and pink to warm up the darkness, and I wanted there to be a glow around the faces of the Holy Family. At the time I was working on this piece, I was listening to the Bible in a Year podcast, and Father Mike Schmitz talked about the poverty of the Holy Family and how inadequate they might have felt as the parents of the Son of God. The decision to add some wear and tear to their clothing was a last-minute decision inspired by that podcast episode I listened to. It was also important for me to show that Mary had a postpartum tummy. Another detail that was important to me was to have one of Jesus' swaddle blankets have some purple in it to show that he was descended from the line of David. So not including dress up and planning time, this piece took over 13 hours to complete from sketch to the finished print. Art is my favorite way of connecting to God and this piece helped speak to me during the Advent season. Though art can be personal, my hope is that it also resonates with you as the viewer. I hope you enjoyed following along with this behind the scenes look at how I create my artwork. If you enjoyed the video, you can give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on other Catholic inspired tutorials and videos. Prints of this piece are available in my Etsy shop and another way you can support my work is you can buy me a coffee. I want to remind you that you are loved. God loves you very much and he loves your artwork very much. Thank you so much for following along with me today and I'll see you next time.